What's up everyone? I'm Holly, that's Abby. And today we are going to be starting off a little series that we've decided to do. Yeah. Um, because we get a lot of questions about our Florida vlogs. Yeah, which are the most viewed series, vlog series on our channel. Yeah. Because we are primarily vloggers and this is weird for us to be sitting yeah, down again. Sitting down. <laughs> this is it's been years. Basically, we would suggest if you're going on holiday to Florida, get yourself a wee notebook. If you've never been before, these videos will be really helpful, hopefully. Yeah. Um, if you have no idea where to even start mm -hmm. in the parks. No. <laughs> Just little suggestions of places to go, places to eat in Universal. And we yeah. are going to do Disney as well. What we're going to talk about in this video is Universal Studios. I mean, the resort, of course, but Universal Studios, Islands of Adventure, uh, the City Walk, um, Volcano Bay, and a little brief thing about the hotels, because yeah. there's quite a few. In Universal Studios, a fairly new part to the park is Diagon Alley and um, you kind of go up to the area where it's King's Cross Station and the night yeah, This bus. is Harry Potter part if people don't know like... Yeah, yeah. Um, so basically Diagon Alley is kind of hidden for a reason because of the fact that Diagon Alley in the films is hidden. Yeah. So you need to kind of look for it but it's like you can see where people are going. Like, yeah. It's up a tiny wee entrance and um, that place within there you can get the Hogwarts Express train to Islands of Adventure, Hogwarts, yeah. Hogsmeade area. That's a good way to like connect the parks. Yeah, instead and of walking. A ride within Diagon Alley that is so good and also new as well yeah. um, is Gringotts Bank. A mixture between a roller yeah, coaster which and a simulator. It's kind of like a big thing nowadays yeah. actually, simulator roller coaster uh -huh. type things. The Jimmy Fallon Race Through New York ride. That was like a, a simulator. Mm -hmm. um, but it was honestly so good. Yeah, I we know. didn't know what to expect. Yeah, it's like the seats are wooden. It's the weirdest yeah, thing, it was wasn't it? Bizarre. But it was a really good ride. All of us loved it. Like all yeah. five of us. And somewhere we love eating is in Simpsons uh, Springfield Land, and at the food, fast food boulevard. It is all quick service food and it's all very themed Simpsons. Yeah. And it's like a whole big. You like go in. Yeah, it's like a food big court. Food court, but yeah. every place is Simpsons. Yeah, yeah. So you can get like chicken and waffles, burgers, hot dogs, all that type of stuff. But something that is different to anywhere I've ever been before with a fast food court type thing is once you get your food, um, you are like escorted by a staff member to a table and we love this. Yeah, because, this is so good. Um, within there, it was so calm anyway. Compared, comparing this to Disney yeah. is insane. It was crazy. Because one thing we're going to talk about in the Disney videos is the, the struggle to get a table. The struggle, to get basically. <laughs> yeah. But uh, Universal, it was so good. Yeah, because we always go to the like a restaurant in Magic Kingdom, and it is mayhem. Yeah. Trying to get a table. So this service compared to Disney is it's, very good. Disney, yeah. please try and get, get a better like system that. on the go. <laughs> yes. Another good place to eat is Finnegan's Bar and Grill, which is an Irish bar, and that is obviously all pub food, yeah. but it's right across the street from the Blues Brothers concert, which is really good. Like, we try and see yeah. it every single time. This is like a classic. Um, We've yeah. always seen this. Yeah, they so they come down the street in their car. If you've never seen the films, watch them before you yeah. go, because you'll be like, this is amazing. Uh, so they perform, and then you can see it from the bar, and it's just so good. Like, you need to see it. Okay. We're going to move on to Islands of Adventure now, and there's... Mm, not as much, but more rides we talk yeah. about here. Um, I definitely feel like that's the difference. Yeah. Like, Islands of Adventure is a, very much a ride park. Yeah. Universal's very much about, like, the sets and, like, how Yeah, it looks. that's true. Yeah, because it's the studios. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> right. So, obviously, the Hulk is the big ride. That's what you want to go on. If you're... Yes. I have never really been into big rides, but in 2018, I just went on everything. Yeah. I just did it. And I loved the Hulk. Um, it's such a good ride if you like big rides. Yeah. So the next thing is a water ride. And Abby, do you want to pronounce it? Oh, Dudley Do Right. Dudley Do Rights rips off falls. Yes. Basically, a really big like drop water ride. Yeah. Um, it's fun, but yeah, we went on this a few years ago, quite a long time ago actually. Yeah. And, and we weren't expecting how wet <laughs> we were gonna get. And we were. It's not just a wee splash on the face. Yeah. It's not like it Splash is, Mountain in Disney. It you is, will come off of this absolutely soaked to the core like not one part of Our her body. Our mum had to buy us new clothes just from one of the random like gift shops yes in the park we were like we were kitted out in Universal yeah, merch we were because <laughs> dripping wet. Next thing is in Jurassic Park and it is the 
Pteranodon Flyers, and this is a children's ride, right? Like this ride is something that an adult has to accompany, accompany a child. So we haven't been able to go on this in years, and it used to be our absolute favourite yeah, ride. It's like, so good. We miss it you, so like, much. You fly about. Yeah, so we really wish that there was an adult version of this. Yeah. Universal. You should get on that. Please make it, one. It's not fair, like you can see it. I know, Remember, you can see you the flying above you. And but you're you like, can't go on it unless yeah. you've got a wee child. The Jurassic River Adventure. It's another water ride, mm -hmm. but you don't get as wet on this, do you? No, not as Sorry. much. It's like a really big boat, this yeah. one. It's like five in a row. It's as if you are like touring the Jurassic Park premises and then like, I won't ruin it, yeah. but um, just... it's just, it, it's very good. It's you go good. through the yeah. building and then it's like, a slide. <laughs> a slide. <laughs> okay, so moving through to Hogsmeade, Harry Potter World again in Islands of Adventure is the Forbidden Journey and this is the ha um, Harry Potter Hogwarts Castle ride and some people don't know that there's a ride in there apparently. Really? Yeah. So this ride is a simulator again but you move around within the simulator type yeah. thing um, and it is very good. You move through the castle, yeah. you see everything. One thing um, to note about the Harry Potter rides yeah. Is the queue times yeah. are the well, like worst in the park probably. Yeah. Um, so we would suggest if you like really want to go on these rides, go there first. Like yeah, as soon like, as you get to the park, head there in the there, morning, and straight there. You will need to wait. I'd say two hours <laughs> for the for the Hogwarts the castle run, uh, ride. Yes. Um, and it can be very like we always go in July. Yeah can be very hot. Yeah. Some areas have fans, some areas don't. One ride that kind of gets forgotten about, I haven't seen it in any Universal vlogs no. I've watched recently, only our own. Yeah. Um, and it's Poseidon's Fury. And this is kind of like a walk through story ride. Kind and of a show. And it's not, kind of. yeah, yeah, you don't really ride anything. Yeah. It's like a For walk like an through. experience. It is an experience, yeah. yeah. It's really good. We love it every single time. Yeah. Um, and every time I forget what's gonna happen. I know. I, I so don't know. Good. I don't know why. It's like a good ride for like everyone. Yeah. Um, and a good ride to get out of the heat. <laughs> yeah. But it's like quite an old one. Yeah. I feel like. And every time we've been since, like, we went in 2013, 2017, and 2018, and all three of those times there has been no queue. Yeah. It, it makes me so I sad. Know. Universal parks just as a whole, and on the city walk you can get as well. It's Icy's. And then this is like the branded yeah, icy. You can get an ices. actual icy, and that is just the best thing ever to so yeah. like cool you we down. We have got like obviously there's wee stalls selling them all over all the parks, but we've got our favourite one to go to. I know, um, and it's in Southland. Yeah, and they're always just so good. Like I know, the perfect. We always get blue raspberry. Emily got watermelon. Yeah, that last. It's time such though. a good drink. Like it lasts ages. Yeah, and, and it's it is. So cool. It literally cools you down from the inside out, yeah. and it is just. Oh yeah, my God. and obviously, Harry Potter. You can try yeah, all, all the, the food butter from, beer yeah. and like all the like ever honey flavored jukes. beans. Yeah, get to honey jukes, get some sweet fudge shop. and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, obviously there are the obvious things that we could talk about, like butter beer and things like that. Like everybody knows to get a butter beer in Harry Potter world. You know what I mean? So anything that we've not said in in these two parks, yeah, just know that we meant it. <laughs> Okay, we're going to move on to the city walk now and somewhere we make sure to go every time, the food is always so good, is Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville and if you've watched our vlogs you know our dad is a Jimmy Buffett fan yeah. and he likes wearing all like the Hawaiian shirts yeah. and... We're just a very tropical family. Tropical hawaiian -y family. We all love Jimmy Buffett. Yeah, and something that we get to eat every single time is the nachos and oh my god, the nachos. Is they are a mountain. massive. They always say to you when you're ordering them, do you know how big they are? And we're like, yes. But we always <laughs> still get other starters and then we're like, why are you done this? Pouring down with rain and uh, thunder and lightning. So we just like ran we into like, Margarita trapped Margarita. in Margarita. <laughs> <Mill. laughs> That's like our dad's dream. Um, something else we always get is pink lemonade and my dad recommends the crab cake sandwich in Margarita. Yeah, that's what he always um, So definitely And try obviously, those. if you're of the age, yes. get a margarita. Margarita. Um, the next place on City Walk is, is Voodoo Donuts. This is quite new. Donuts. 
Honestly, do not miss out on these like, donuts. There was this when you went in. There was like a wheel in the middle. I know of it was place, like a carousel of donuts, and they had every donut, like the actual donut, yeah, for you to view and pick yeah. what you wanted. Pick me one before you went up to the front, and it, honestly, oh my god, you got. I got the voodoo doll, which is like the classic, the classic one, and I got the fruit loop donut. Yeah, we basically that was our breakfast that day. Mm-hmm. We it just was ate honest, them walking into the. Park. I think about this donut once a week. I'm not even joking. <laughs> like I'm not even kidding. <laughs> It was the best donut I've ever yeah. had in my life, and I want—I knew I wanted that before we even went on the yeah. holiday. I saw it on Instagram because I followed it, and I was like, "I'm yeah. getting that." Okay, next thing is the Hard Rock Cafe, and this is quite prominent in the City Walk, yeah. around the water area. It's like, and right when you walk in, you like see it in front of you across yeah. the water. And obviously, everybody's everybody knows what Hard Rock Cafe is like. It's just like yeah. good food, good music, and it's just a vibe you know it's like but it's like a eastern one like it's huge it is huge yeah and joint onto that i don't know if that actually connected but it is nearby is the hard rock hotel but so we want to talk about the hotels in universal orlando resort a little bit um we stayed in a villa when we went to florida in the summer 2018 yeah. and we decided um well our parents decided that they wanted to stay at a universal resort hotel for three nights yeah um just to different. just to kind of like get away from the villa so we weren't there every night and things like that um so it was really good staying at a hotel you get benefits um you get into the hotel the parks an hour early with your room key yeah and with some of the more we stayed at one of the like uh lowe's is that how you say lowe's, lowe's hotel it was sapphire falls we stayed at yeah um, and there's a few hotels in that group, and then there's ones that are like a tier up. Yeah, there's like and the like value tier, a middle yeah. tier, I think, and then like the high tier. Yeah. And if you book one of the high ones, your room key actually counts as a fast pass. Yeah. So um, which is really, I think, really worth the money. Yeah. Getting to experience the theme parks at night is also really, really good. Yeah. It's so much fun. Like one night we were there, and there was a thunderstorm. It wasn't the rain wasn't bad, but it was thunder and lightning. Yeah. Um, and we had to like hide in a shop and like everyone was yeah. hidden in shops and yeah. it was the funniest thing. It's just like thunder and lightning storms only really last like 10 minutes sometimes in Orlando. Yeah. Um, so it's fun. We like it. Yeah, like, I know. <laughs> it was fun. And it was also fun being able to go on a ride really late at night. Yeah. We went on, what was it? Transformers. Transformers. Our mum and dad were just sitting at a bar or something and we were like, where are we on a ride? And it was just, it was yeah. so good. Um, okay, the last thing we're going to talk about is Volcano Bay and this park. You'll have heard about it. Yeah, it's You'll the new, seen it. newish. Mm-hmm. water park it is like tropical hawaiian-y themed yeah. it's like tiki it's, it's so good it's like we loved yeah. it so much basically there's different types of seating that you can get in volcano bay mm-hmm. there's just a standard sun bed you yeah know, where she just like go and sun sit beds everywhere just for free mm-hmm. and then you can pay for a like premium yeah it's sun like bed. it's like a double sun bed with like a hood <laughs> a hood and like cushioning yeah on the bed which mm-hmm. is obviously good for like sunburn like yeah wee bit of protection yeah. and then the like most premium expensive seating you can pay yeah. for is a full cabana yeah and you can get like a double floored one you can get a single you can you can book the whole thing yeah um but we booked a top floor cabana and we have a vlog at volcano bay yeah. it will be linked um and honestly it was expensive but it was it like so worth it, it. made the day like because we don't really enjoy water parks yeah, because mainly of, because we are so pale. We are so pale. We get sunburned so bad. It's I get like agonizing heat stroke sitting out in the sun. Like I just I can't do water parks. Yeah, and this made it enjoyable. Special experience. Yeah. it's like a one time thing. Yeah, the best ride at Volcano Bay is definitely the Aqua Coaster. Yeah. and it's honestly so good. Honestly, and one thing about Volcano Bay is that you get a little wristband when you go into the park. It's called a Tapu 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 Tapu, and they're free with your price. Yeah, ticket. it's just... not premium or anything like that. Um, and you basically just like go up to one of the stands in the park and these are all over and you just like click what you will ride you want to check into and then you just tap your tap a tap your tap tap and that puts you into a virtual line yeah so you don't have to stand about out in the heat yeah like it's very good for hours on end and your tap a tap tells you when yeah. you're ready to go yeah like it's, it says ride now um, another thing we'd recommend for volcano bay or any water park in general yeah. is to buy water shoes i don't care how stupid they look my feet were grand that yeah. whole time. Like, because you, you can't, you can't like take your flip flops on a ride. Yeah, you've got to walk around with bare feet. So, the water shoes you're allowed on a ride with. Yes, and get your them. feet will be burning off you. Yeah, because. 
people made fun of us, not not in the vlog, our friends in real life. Yes, they were like, Holly, like, what are you doing? And I was like, I don't care. <laughs> it is efficient. It is so good. And it, they're cheap. Like, go yeah. to Walmart. Walmart, like $6, maybe cheaper than that. Yeah. I can't remember. But they had like loads of them in a big bucket yeah. because people buy them, apparently. <laughs> One last thing we're going to say about in this video is to download the Universal Studios app. When you're at the parks, it tells you ride times, it tells you um, like, like you what time, map. yeah, you can have the map on, on your phone and it tells you what time shows are at, when to meet characters, yeah. where they're going to be, when the parades are, everything yeah. you want to know will be on That's the good. app and it's so, so good. Definitely download. Right, so we really hope this has been a helpful video. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like we watch these types of videos before yeah. going to Florida, mm -hmm. even though we've been so many times. Like There's always new things. Yeah, there's always new information. Um, so make sure to subscribe if you really enjoyed this because we are going to do Disney as well yeah. and turn the wee bell on so that you don't ever miss a video. We upload every Sunday at 7pm. Yeah, every Sunday and make sure to go check out the actual vlog series to mm -hmm. see us there. They'll be linked yeah. down below and follow us if you really want to. If you really want. It's down below. Everything down below. And yeah, we really hope you enjoyed. See you soon. See you the in Disney the next video. One. Bye bye. <laughs>